Hi guys, I'm going to show you how the new custom post types and custom loops and advanced custom fields integration works. Uh, we are in WP admin. This is a custom type called car. I already created by the CPT UE plugin. You can see I already created three cars. Uh, let me inspect the Tesla. If I go to the single, you can see here is post title, post content, featured image. Uh, I already enabled builder, so you can use builder here if you want. And here is custom. Yeah, my create custom fields, car speed and car type. Car type is actually a select. Car speed is just a plain text input. And I will show you how you can easily work with them in Arc. So here is a blank page and I will add an element loop wrapper. Inside this element only loop row could be inserted and inside this only loop post can be inserted. So inside a loop post uh, you can actually insert good old elements like featured image and below post title. Uh, I will duplicate these elements three times. Uh, the it's uh, the workflow is a little bit slower because uh, the screen recording app is really demanding. Need a quick save. And when I go to the front end of the page, bam, you can see all posts here. These are just a post. I need to go back to the loop wrapper, hit the edit button, and here are the first killer feature WP create arguments. As you can see, I'm selecting post types called post, which is standard WordPress blog post. I need to change it to the car here. When I change it to the car, go here and my car appears. Uh, what I don't like is that uh, these images have different height, so they are not aligned in one line. I'll go to, I will go to the featured image area. Uh, I will change aspect ratio 1 to 1. I need to change it on all these wrappers. Hit the save button. And as you can see, now they have the same height. So now I will show you how the advanced custom fields works. Yeah, there is element advanced custom field. Uh, I will drag and drop it here. So, what is pretty cool, uh, all the ACF groups and fields all already scanned by our app. So, you are not bothered with PHP code. Here is the car speed. Another, yeah, when I hit a save, you will of course see the speed here. Okay, uh, another cool feature is you can choose the output, uh, image, video, file, URL, etc. Et what is really strong is this PHP code. Yeah, and uh, we implemented, we implemented, uh, damn, we implemented a PHP editor for your big, bigger comfort. Uh, so, this has been already executed, this code. So you have access to ACF field content variable and ACF field name is for your experiment. Let's say that this ACF field content is uh, car speed in mile, uh, miles. And let's say I want to transfer this car speed to kilometers, which is uh, approximately 1.6 times more. So I'll do uh, a small PHP code here. Hit a quick save. And you can see 390 miles, 
624 kilometers. I need to duplicate this field to have it on all layouts. And here it is. Uh, there are a few another cool things. The loop post. Firstly, you have condition. It has conditions. So you can actually decide if you want or want not print this post. You have three variables. WP query post and post counter. Of course, yeah, it, of course it will be useful uh, if you are, for example, querying two custom post types, books and movies. So you can create one loop post for books with this condition and one loop post for movies with different condition. You can, of course, uh, adjust every column width and height. And there is an advanced column push, pull, and offsetting. In a loop row, there is also a condition if you want to print this low row, you can set custom padding, equalizing of columns. And in a loop writer, uh, there are the WP query settings. Here is offsetting also known from our previous loop and pagination. So basically, this is how our custom post type integration works. That's all. I th and thank you for watching. I hope that you will really